Zuleika? You're... late. I... found a companion... along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V. Meet Zuleika. V. Pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Recent acquaintance, more like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. offer you anything? A drink? I'm good. Thanks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. Why are we here? And who are we waiting for? Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? Sure. I believe. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! Religious debates. Not my thing. There's nothing to debate. Those BD studio hyenas convinced Joshua to trade one execution for another. His own crucifixion. He wants everyone to experience his agony, feel his pain and suffering. Hang on. A BD studio changed how a convict's gonna be executed. Doesn't the law say something about that? Corpse write the laws. Corpse choose the judges. All it takes is a sit down between the studio's CEO and a state's attorney. Officially, I'm here on a supervised one day furlough. But no law can prevent me from spending that with new acquaintances. Corruption's a sin too, isn't it? And corruption got you here. This is much bigger than the laws of man. With this brain dance, I'll take God's message to billions. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of his divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? 
Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! We should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child. My son. Let's go back to the car. I just wish I could have talked to Gloria and explained everything. And somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Who can blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. I really want to do this. Get nailed to a cross. Yes. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word yeah. with our stowaway yeah. here. I know, I... I heard. No, no, no way, man. Wait up a sec, I wanna talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Need psychiatric help. No, no, no hmm. way, man. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Huh. Sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm, and one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. 
So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Yeah. Don't do it, V. Okay. All right, then. My no, answer's no. I can't agree to that. Sorry. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Corporal rats. Think they can solve everything with eddies. And you proved her wrong. Just don't make her desperate. She's liable to bite back. What's your problem? Got a tough customer with that Vasquez, even for a badge. He is set in his ways, like so many men. Can we please talk about something besides faith? Josh, you're a knight. Topic of choice? Uh, I don't know. I spent years not talking to anyone. Okay, nothing hard. What do you do to relax? Uh, well, let's see. I, I, I read scripture. I watch brain dances and movies. Did you hear about the remake of Badlands Raid? Yeah. Kicks the original's ass. Trust me. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, what? I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Great to have an outlet. Something to give you peace of mind. True peace of mind can only come through the spirit of divine grace. Hey, know what your problem is, all of you? Yes. I'm talking to you. You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Back off me, okay? And maybe you should fuck off, huh? You're not part of our group? Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel. No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. We'll get your face soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Feel alive in the dead of space. Props. Really well played. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Feeling tired? Bored? Powerless? Not anymore. Experience all of Chromanticore's six. I just feel bad for you. And make set up! We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? The corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on. Where's Rebel Johnny? Seemed to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job, sight. He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head, because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck, kill me, please. Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. 
Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. Last year, the city council of Night City... Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. The gross income of these companies runs in the tens of trillions of euro dollars. The catastrophic city of...